you might see this year if you're trying to return that DVD or even a calendar that you just didn't want, retailers might ask you for your ID. It's an effort to crack down on fraudulent returns. A recent National Retail Federation survey showed they'll cost the industry $3.8 billion this holiday season. And as the line starts to grow, most people know the drill. I need the receipt. Just have your receipt, make sure the tags are on, and you're good to go. And these shoppers say the extra step of showing ID isn't going to stop them from getting the gift they really want. Just in a return in exchange. But what about those gifts you can't return? If it's from my sister, I put it in the closet and I take it out whenever she comes to visit because she keeps track. And there's always re-gifting. It was an elk with a tray for holding cookies and where the tail was, you put um, incense. It was, it was pretty awful. I couldn't believe somebody gave it to me, but it was the hit of a re-gifting party. People actually fought over it. Okay, so here's some tips before you head out. Ask the store about its return policy. Ask for a gift receipt and keep it with the gift if you can. Don't assume regular return policies apply to sale or clearance items and ask about restocking fees. So if you really just can't return a gift you may not have wanted, re-gifting, as you heard, is a real possibility.